and from your economics book of grade 9 and the name of the chapter is major problems of indian economy poverty and unemployment so first we have to understand what are the causes or what is the concept of the poverty line this is what is included in your reduced syllabus that is concept of the poverty line and it is generally regarded or it is generally said that in our country there are group of people who fail to reach a certain minimum consumption standard they should be regarded as poor thus poverty line can be defined as the cut off level of per capita consumption expenditure per month and which is needed to maintain a minimum acceptable standard of living in the country so the experts who have examined the question of poverty quantitatively find it difficult to agree on the amount of income that will ensure a minimum consumption standard and at any particular point of time so here we will say that the poverty line is saying us how much must be the minimum income of a family to maintain its basic needs whenever it is coming below that we are saying it is below the poverty line that is what we say bpl below the poverty line and when a family is able to fulfill its basic need with its earning then we are saying it is apl that is above the poverty line so again this poverty we can say that there are two types of standards okay there are uh, the two types of standards are common in the economic literature one is the absolute poverty one is the relative poverty so absolute from the name itself we can understand that the absolute poverty or absolute uh, deprivation you can say both absolute poverty or absolute deprivation and a minimum physical quantity of cereals pulses milk butter etc uh, are determined which are supposed to be necessary to maintain a subsequent level of living and then the price quotations as convert the physical quantities into monetary terms then aggregate all the prices okay and then we will find a figure of the expression of the per capita consumption and expenditure pce per month is determined now those persons whose pce remains below the fixed level are considered to be uh, below the poverty line in in this case the magnitude of the poverty is generally expressed in the term of absolute number uh, of poor people poor persons so what is a relative poverty so relative in the case of relative poverty income distribution of the people in the different fractional or different groups is especially at a comparison of the levels of living in of the top 5 to 10 percent they are the rich uh, with the bottom 5 to 10 percent and the very poor are of the population and reflects this kind of relative deprivation thus as it indicates the relative position and of different segments of the population and in the income okay such we can say that relative deprivation is also found in the affluent societies or developed countries of the world however the less developed countries like india have more concentrated head of this absolute poverty next we are having the poverty line since the sixth five year plan the planning commission and had been estimating the incident of poverty in india at the national and the state level both in the rural and the urban levels on the basis of the recommendations and so of the task force 1977 on projections of minimum needs in this report the task force defined the poverty line as the midpoint and of a monthly per capita expenditure or a class having a daily calorie intake of 2400 at calories per person 
and in the rural areas and 2100 calories per person in the urban areas because of the greater physical work done by the rural worker greater calories intake is necessary on this basis the cut off point of pce okay per month turn out to be rupees 49 for the rural areas and 57 for the urban areas so the fact remains that the positive correlation between pce per month and the per capita daily calorie intake okay, this is shown up shown by the upward sloping curve in ol you can see in the figure given ol right in figure one thus for the given minimum value of the per capita daily calories intake say co you can see the calorie intake is given in the left side that is the co and uh, per month right that is pce is given in the there is the income given in the given it below in the right hand side right so this is the poverty line we are determining how to determine it next we are having what are the types of unemployment that is prevailing in india rural unemployment unemployment means what unemployment means when the person is having the ability or the will to work but he or she is not able to find any kind of job that is called an unemployment so rural employment and urban unemployment in india the incident of unemployment is more pronounced in the rural areas as this rural unemployment can be divided or categorized rural unemployment can be further categorized into seasonal unemployment disguised unemployment or structural unemployment the urban unemployment problem is mainly technological unemployment or you can say friction in nature so what are the meaning of all those unemployments we are talking about first is the seasonal unemployment from the term itself you can understand the seasonal that means it is not throughout the year for a certain point of time we are saying that there is absence of work and for a certain point of time you will find that the they are having the work like for example the farmers the farmers are not growing the crops throughout the year so they are employed for six months and for the rest of the six months they don't have any kind of work so that is the seasonal unemployment structural unemployment so the problem of the unemployment in the rural rural india is mostly structural in nature this it arises due to some of the structural problems of indian economy that is for example we can say the high growth rate of population the huge pressure of the labor force in the rural areas and slow growth rate of the different contemporary factors like electricity irrigation transport storage rural credit it need to raise agricultural productivity and production thus demand for the labor and employment opportunities is uh, becomes restricted due to uh, agricultural backwardness slow growth in agricultural output etc so we can say or we can call it the structural unemployment next we are having the technical unemployment technical unemployment means loss of jobs due to the changes in the production technology is such change uh, typically signifies the introduction of labor saving or capital using technology thus more machines are or more efficient mechanical mind pr uh, processes is uh, can replace the human labor in the production system for instance greater use of the tractors can displace the agricultural workers also from their work similarly historical examples uh, suggest that handloom weavers of india became jobless when the uh, when the entry of meal made clothes from the england during the british rule next we are having what are the causes of the unemployment first is high population pressure the rate the population of india is really high so it is very uh, this is a very you can say very important cause that people are not finding the job nowadays slow growth rate of the different sectors as the population is increasing so fast the job is not increasing the job opportunity is not increasing so fast so we are finding that the 
as uh, slow growth rate is there in the different sectors inadequate irrigation facilities is a uh, rural urban migration is there uh, from the rural always the uh, people are migrating to the urban areas but they they are thinking of getting job but it is not possible for the urban area also to provide job to everybody so declining of the traditional industrial activities emergence of capital investment and labor saving technologies this means the modern machines which are coming up is now capital investment is there but low amount of labor force is needed that's why having the industrial recession okay when the industrial produce products of india do not find adequate market both domestic and foreign and uh, then an excess supply condition is created to the industrial sector in such a case the investors uh, do not find any initiative to invest more in that sector this reduce, reduces the employment opportunity okay faulty education system we have already noted that the education system of india does not uh, give appropriate emphasis on the expansion of the vocational or the technical education right this is rising the problem um, of the um, uh, urban uh, unemployment also a uh, liberal economic policy so since 1991 the government of india has been following a liberal economic policy which greater emphasizes on the expansion of the private sector as a result government invest uh, investment has declined in the public sector and uh, this is also resulting in failing unemployment opportunities in the public sector that is the government jobs we were talking about okay last point is impact of recession in the global market since 2007 to 8 the developed Uh, in the developed countries we are finding like usa uk japan etc have been facing a recessionary trend in their economies so their so their import demand has been uh, failing as a result the export industries of india uh, for example we can say the textile industry is suffered a lot a large number of workers lost their jobs in various sectors of india so these are the causes we are having and only this much we are having from this chapter thank you